What's the difference between income elasticity of demand and regular old elasticity of demand? And basically the difference is that regular elasticity of demand, which is percent change in quantity that people purchase over percent change in price, where the numerator of course is the dependent variable, the denominator is the independent variable. This is going to capture the shape of the demand curve, whether it's steep or whether it's flat. That's regular old elasticity of demand, it's just the shape of the curve. Whereas income elasticity of demand is going to capture how much does that demand curve move in its entirety when income changes. Like when income goes up, do you demand more of a product? That would be a normal good. Or do you demand less of the product? That means it's an inferior good. It's something that low income people buy, that higher income people buy less of, like ramen noodles or peanut butter. And so, yeah, th that's the difference here, is that even though they sound kind of similar, income elasticity of demand, that the dependent variable is the whole demand curve. And the independent variable that you're looking at, how responsive is the demand curve to that independent variable, that's a person's income, or perhaps a whole population's income.